welcome if you're a new viewer here be sure to click the subscribe button also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel the topics that we'll be discussing today two shot in police shootout two bikers killed and more the police in saint elizabeth are probing the circumstances surrounding the death of an elderly couple in newtown black river this morning the deceased woman has been identified by the police as 77 year old monica brown Investigators are yet to ascertain her husband's identity. Reports are that the police and the fire department were informed by residents who saw a concrete house on fire. Following the cooling down operations, the remains of the deceased were found among the rumble. The scene was processed and the bodies were removed to the morgue pending post mortems. Want to take the time out to send my condolences to their family because it must be hard for lose your family, especially your grandparents, especially in a time like this, a Christmas season. Everybody I look forward for go over them family yard to eat, especially over your grandmother yard because you know say everybody I can pack up over this. So for see you lose them, that is so unfortunate. 18 year old Javon Hutton of Philadelphia Bamboo St. Anne died as a result of injuries he sustained in a motor vehicle collision along Bamboo Main Road on Friday. The police report that about 10.30 p.m. Hutton was riding a motorcycle towards Lilyfield when he collided with another motorcycle that was traveling in the opposite direction and had stopped along the roadway. Both riders received injuries and were taken to the St. Anne's Bay Hospital. Hutton was pronounced dead while the other man is being treated. One of three people who were traveling on a motorcycle was killed during an accident on Wharton Main Road in St. Catherine on Saturday. The dead man has been identified as 31-year-old Mali Martin, a resident of Linstead in the parish. The two other individuals on the bike, including a woman, was unconscious after the accident and were taken to the hospital. Their conditions could not be ascertained up to press time. The police said about 3 a.m., Martin and the other two were traveling on a bike heading towards Linstead when they collided with a car. The injured individuals were taken to the hospital where Martin was pronounced dead. The St. Catherine North Traffic Department is probing the incident. I only have two questions and I know so the two of them pop up in our mind as soon as I don't read. Why three persons are travel upon one bike? And for top things off, 3 a.m. in the morning, three persons are travel upon one bike. Then that makes sense? Just remember, you know, we are talking about a bike in a night after the curfew. Everybody are try to hurry up and go home. So you know say anything more likely for happen. You tell me say that never come to none out of the three of them head. The three of them literally just give up on them life and say anything will happen, just happen. I just want to make it home. And to me, that really never made no sense. All of that could have been avoided. Either them turn of them yard, if them know say them never have no right for go home. Or them these stage by them day and wait for morning for light out. How far five day from three? Better if they go and build vibes and know say five o'clock come we can jump on a bus and make it home. Me just can't imagine three persons sitting on a bike and I ride as if them life they have no meaning. Managa lie, so the way oh me view this, me just say I them just give them three points because as I said earlier, there is no way three cents up unless them did under the influence, them just Say, so, all right, I could just take a shot at this and call it a night. On a daily basis, I see how bike mash up once my water travel upon it. Just imagine what it had to do three. Enough for this, people. I'm going to move on. Driver happy to be alive after a car crash into Bogwalk. The driver of this vehicle say he's happy to walk away with minor cuts after his car developed mechanical issues and crashed into Bogwalk in St. Catherine today. The man who declined to give his name says while driving his car became unresponsive and caught fire. Upon applying brakes, he say the car flipped onto its side and land on the river bank. <laughs>
control over the car, no time for that. Oh, so that's when you were coming down or you were going? No, I'm going. I'll never do a touch of break, and I saw when yeah. I touch of break, the car just start shooting. When me take the car with a stop, you understand the car just keep on coming up on the bump, just hang up. Okay. okay. You see, you got out uninjured. Everybody get out uninjured. Oh, you, you, you know, do I that? I was the only one who get out and to fuck me after that. Everything good. No one is not injured. She are in a car, everything good. Them say when I pass life, I pass nothing, don't it? This can sell, can fix, and can wrap it up. Don't forget to run over Instagram at Benjamin Styles. Go and go follow them page and also follow Chopsy TV. They have a giveaway for the ladies. But no, you don't want to miss this, especially in the festive season. Yeah? So you just do the right thing. Run over there. Follow all of them steps. The poster is on their page and also on the Chop City Instagram page. So you can't miss. The giveaway will end on the 27th of this month and the winner announced. So you do the right thing, you know. On the take my word feet, them sell some nice female clothes. Them have kids clothes available also. And gentlemen, not to worry, phone clothes them soon come in stock. So on a run go on over, they go follow up the movement. Two men were shot and injured in two separate Christmas Eve police shooting incidents in Red Dills, St. Andrew and in Linstead, St. Catherine. In the first incident in Red Hills, the police say a man was shot and injured about 9.30 p.m. when he was confronted by lawmen and a shootout ensued. During the shootout, police say the man who is now admitted to the hospital was shot and injured. A Taurus 9mm pistol with 8 rounds of ammunition was seized. In the later incident, which occurred about 10 p.m., the Linstead police shot and injured a man who was having a confrontation with another man in the town center. Police said the injured man was in the process of attacking another man with a machete when the lawmen intervened. During the intervention, the armed man was shot and injured. He was taken to the hospital where he was also admitted. The police have confirmed that the Independent Commission of Investigation is probing both incidents. Viewers and subscribers, I hear time now. I would love to hear what are your thoughts on all these stories down below in the comment section. Remember, everybody opinion valid, so I'm not afraid to leave your thoughts down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out to stay blessed and stay safe.